Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. So in today's video, I finally got some gameplay on WYST and Pillar Chase 2, also known as Pac-Man. And basically the name stands for Weird Yellow Smiley Thing. I think that's a neat ass nickname. And for the most part, like finally got some gameplay on Finance at Freddy's because every time I kept playing as Pac-Man, I kept getting the map Pillars and I kept losing. So I said, oh my God, hopefully on a map like this, I get to finally win. And I did so. I said, thank you. God, and yeah, so far in terms of impressions, like, yes, another monster up there I can easily have fun with, and for the most part, I would say that you have these gobble bombs that allow you to, like, shoot these balls out of your mouth, and it kills players around the map, and if you're in frenzy mode, you can also highlight players, and you also get up to three gobble bombs, and if you hit all three of them at a player, yeah, that insta-kills them, like, immediately, but I think you only get about, like, yeah, 50 to about 70 XP per gobble bomb kill, but when it comes to just going around mailing people, you get about nothing more than, I would say, I don't know, like, 170 XP? This monster definitely requires some first-person gameplay mainly when it comes to like accurately just shooting out your gobble bombs but other than that when it comes to just chasing people and like hitting them in third person like that's not an issue at all and like we'll just see it right here but yeah definitely my advice when playing as you know wyst it's mainly that you don't want to go around chasing players directly from behind unless if they have nowhere else to go but other than that i learned that the hard way especially playing on maps like pillars because oh my god i lose my stamina a lot more faster than it feels like the player does and I just learned that cutting them off is like really just the, the best option here. So if you're in frenzy mode, you get up to three gobble bombs, but if you're not, you only get one. So you'll just see for the rest of the gameplay, I'm just trying to like, yeah, just cut people off, screw them over. And this guy right here really fucked himself over. I said, yep, you just had to come back here, huh? And then like, you know, you'll notice some players trying to juke you. So I just kind of take my time before like just going around, just running and killing them at the same time. I'd rather just kind of just stand there and see what they do next. And don't be afraid to use those gobble bombs because, oh, Oh my god especially if you get to ricochet off the walls and still merc players with it like it just becomes like the greatest weapon use against them so i just kind of shoot them at random times and yeah sure most of the time i won't actually get a hit but you, you never know because some of these players can actually hide in a corner right next to you and like you'll have no idea unless you actually injure them with like a gobble bomb and like i think i actually kind of did right here i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure that player that was playing as the chef like I kind of injured him up and like, yeah, I caught him off guard because he probably thought I was going to be coming from the other side and I didn't. I snuck up from behind him, which I'm surprised he still managed to like not escape from. And then you got this last pair right here. He basically just ran into me and that was the easiest way. I just literally ended the game. I just shot up all three of my gobble bombs at him and he just ran right into it. So that's exactly what happens if you're not playing as Pac-Man and that's how I got my dub. I wish they had some dancing poses though. But yeah, guys, literally after Pac-Man, it's just all down to the Vita Mimic, and then there's also Fuwadi. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, you know, who was the first monster? that deserves to hit level 55 and become gold. Let me know in the comments below. This is right after I hit level 20 with every single monster. Let me know. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.